Good morning. Welcome to Nana's Head and Apron. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Brenda, and uh, we're gonna make a little bit of breakfast. What I'm gonna do is, I got this new little cooker here yesterday. We got it yesterday. You see Tom back there hanging out. Uh, it's a Hamilton Beach Egg Bites Maker. I don't know if any of you guys have this or not. If you do, maybe you can share some of your recipes with me. But uh, it's new to me, and we're going to give it a try. I'm going to follow their recipe for, uh, they call it a basic recipe ingredient. So I'm going to sit you right here so you can watch what I'm doing. And let me get you, let me get you set up so you, so y'all not falling over into all my business here. <laughs> right here I have one egg, and I'm going to put uh, one. Let's see what's it say. I'm going to put a teaspoon of cream in it, and I've got the wrong spoon, so let me get the right one out. There we go. Some of these are broken, but my kids got them for me for Christmas one year, and I still use them. I've got several different ones, but I like using these. I'm going to put heavy cream in. One teaspoon of heavy cream. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to go ahead and mix this up a little bit first. I don't know if this actually goes, uh, one or two. That's the thing. I've already got my water down here. It's 100 milliliters of water. You don't plug it in, it says, until you're ready to go because uh, it does not require uh, being heated up. So, we're going to put a tablespoon of chopped ham. And then, uh, I'm just going to guess at it, but a tablespoon of cheese. I'm using shredded uh, cheddar. Spilling it on everywhere too, aren't I? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. All right. Let's get this mixed up and see how this works. I know. Usually, I've got you guys around here on the other side. Now, it doesn't say to, to spray it with anything. It does have a max fill line it says to go to, so that tells me one egg makes two egg bites. Just like that. Get that ham out of thicker. Okay. I'm just going to sit this off to the side for a second. Plug this in. Now it says that uh, um, pour the water in, which I've done into the reservoir. Replace this tray. Um, cover it with the lid. I mean, it sounds like an easy process, but we'll see. <laughs> and we are going to... Y'all want to see me read this? <laughs> Let's see here. Cover with the lid. Plug it in. Both lights will come on. And they have... Now, when the green light turns off... You unplug the unit. It says to unplug the unit or you have to add a little bit more water to it uh, in between batches. Now, you remove the lid, take the tray out of the base, allow the egg bites to rest for a few minutes, and then invert it onto a serving plate. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do Tom some ham. And 
got some hash browns cooking over here. We're also going to have fountain water sink. Or, yeah, water sink. Sink of water. down here. There's my second egg. I don't know how many of these he's going to want, so probably four. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume four. Okay. There's my tablespoon of cream. And the remainder of the ham. Give it a stir. I'm sure you can put your salt in there, some pepper in there. You can put anything you want in these. We have ham and cheese. He loves ham and cheese omelets, so that's what I thought I would start out doing. Now, with mine, I'm going to do one a little bit different. I have some bacon bits that I'm going to put in mine. Typically, I would use real bacon. But, I don't have any bacon fried yet. So. I'm also going to put some of the uh, sweet red pepper flakes in it that I dehydrated a couple weeks ago. I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt to mine. Oh, that's not mine, that's Tom's. <laughs> Oops, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. But I'm just going to go ahead and pour my bacon bits in with my cheese. I'm only putting about half a teaspoon. Or mm, half a tablespoon. Yeah, about half a teaspoon is what I've got there. Then I'm going to put me a little bit. pepper flakes in it. Just crush those up in there. Boy, those smell so good. Just like that. Gonna go ahead and throw my salt in there. Stick one of these eggs back in the fridge because I don't need that many of them. Go ahead and get us plate out. You'll want to use when you uh, when you mix this up. You'll want to use something that's got a little pour spout on it to be able to get this in poured into the the little egg bites cooker, so it doesn't make a mess. We saw this, and and they actually it was the last one that they had at our local Walmart. They had it uh, clearance for ten dollars. I don't know what the original sale price was. It didn't have that. Green's my favorite color. I like that color as well of green. Uh, you can see it cooking there. Steam going up pretty good. Sounds like sounds like it's starting to slow down on its boil. Okay. The green light went off. So we're going to unplug it. Like it says to do. Let's see. 
again, it says when the green light turns off, unplug the unit, remove the lid. Ooh, just don't turn that lid upside down because it has a lot of water on it. That could have been a nice little warning to add to it. Uh, let's see. Remove the lid. And remove the tray from the base. Allow it to rest for a few minutes. It doesn't say how long, just a few minutes. So let me get a towel out of here. Let's get this up out of there. Yeah, it used all of that water, but yuck. <laughs> Do you have hard water? Um, that's what it looks like. <laughs> but, I mean, look how cute. Look how cute these turned out. Cute, huh? We're going to give them just a few minutes to rest, and I'll be right back. Alright, sorry I blocked that, you all. The fluff settles and there's what we still have now I am going to get my little gadget that I love to use with all this type of stuff and pull these up out of there look at that I don't know why, we're, why our color our light is changing off and on but yeah I'll definitely <laughs> definitely give him more than just that because that's that's a yeah, that's a grandbaby size there that's what that actually is it's my grandbaby size alright again we're going to pour this water in 100 milliliters just like it says to do we're going to plug it in we're going to fill these up to the fill line. Put that in. Cap it off. And then we're just going to turn this around towards you guys if I can without making a great mess. Yes, yay. Here we go. Just keep your eye on that. <laughs> microwave them to warm them back up. Might be a good thing. I'm going to hit and put those bacon bits and cheese in there and my seasonings. Mix it up. Have it ready for its next batch. And I'll go ahead and uh, fill up the little this is the little container that comes with it that you put your water in. You put cold water in it, not hot. said 100 milliliters. <laughs> I think I was saying liters. It's milliliters, not liters. Jiminy Christmas. <laughs> Again, I can't brag about this little tool enough. I don't know if you can buy them by theirself. All I know is I've, I've bought the Baby Cakes products and this comes with it and I use it on so many of these types of gadgets. Yeah. Put that over there out of the way. And I have some potatoes fried up here. They got just a little crispy because I was busy. Put some 
bows on there. <laughs> then we're, we're just going to watch for this light to go out. When that goes off, it's done. You unplug it. Remove the lid. Like I said, be careful though. Don't turn that lid sideways over top of it. Have you, have you a dishcloth or something in your hand, a towel, anything, so that when you lift it up and, and you can turn it to let the water out, <clears throat> drain it in your sink, <laughs> just don't hold it over top of it. Yeah, that could have been a good little warning. But it's okay. I'm letting you guys know this now. Stir that around a little bit more. Gives those uh, dehydrated sweet peppers time to hydrate a little bit. Tom was working in the garden yesterday and got bit by a hornworm. <laughs> I know it's not funny. I heard him yelling. <laughs> oh boy. Hornworm. Yeah. He'll insert a picture. <laughs> This thing steams a lot, so I'm actually going to pull it out from under the counter, the cabinet here, the top cabinets. I'm just going to, woo, be careful though, because that little joker is steaming. There we go. Get that out here. I don't like all that steam going up under there like that. sound that it makes when it's almost finished. I guess because it's almost out of the water. Lasso. I'm lassoing it. <laughs> Just trying to get it out here. So, so much of that steam doesn't go up under there. Whew. I like that. You know, steam not good on that. On wood. But you can still see it, so there we go. I guess if you had a bunch of them lined up in a row, <laughs> it would be a quick breakfast for most people, but they're small. They're small. They're not man size. The children's size. One egg. My man eats four eggs for breakfast. I'm just saying. There we go. Lights out. We'll just reach over here and unplug it. Now, let me get this dish towel over here ready. This dish cloth ready. Do it like that. There we go. That's better. And I've got a dish drain right there that I'm just going to set that down in. just going to take our dish towel and lay it right here. Pull these up out of there. Give you another looky-see. Set it right there. And again, completely dry. Go ahead and pour my water in for the next one. Ooh, it squealed just a little bit, didn't it? Now, obviously when this is finished, you want to wash it out. You don't have to take soapy water or anything, but you definitely want to wash this out and get those hard, hard water stains up out of there. All right. Now, let's lift these up out of there. You just watch for the fluff to fall. <laughs> You're good. There we go. Now, if I'd had the toaster out and toasted him up a couple of pieces of bread, he'd have been even happier. But, I didn't. <laughs> so now we go with the last one. One for me. Set that in there. And let's 
stir this up just one more time. Like I said, there's a there's a fill line in there. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but where I stop at is where the fill line is. I'll show you that in just a second. I think to go ahead and just mix up the eggs and the your cream or your milk, whatever liquid you're using. Now you can also do just egg whites, by the way. It's got recipes for just the egg whites itself as well. But I think just to go ahead and mix those up and then put your add-ins before you plug it back up. But that's where the... Right there. Feel like. Right on. Right on the money. All right. around my rooster tail here. <laughs> Get that plugged in. Both lights are on. And there we go. Now. You want some toast? Okay. While we're waiting for mine to cook, we're just going to go over here and see what he thinks about these. Either he's going to like them or he's not. Pretty simple. <laughs> they're kind of hard to see, but they're done all the way through. Um, they're fluffy. Mm -hmm. It's good? Yes. Um, I'm just envisioning taking one of these and cutting it in half this way and laying it out and making a sandwich out of it, but that's, oh, for, yeah. that's for another time. So Yeah, just cook them up and then slice them and, and put some bacon or, or a piece of sausage in the center. Yeah. Now, now this, it cooks it all the way through. Mm -hmm. there's, there's nothing nothing running but the cheese. <laughs> Thank you, baby. This is very good. You're welcome. Okay. Y'all heard it. <laughs> I'll take care. Uh, I can I can see me using this more, mostly probably on the weekend because it does take a few minutes. Uh, we give ourselves about an hour and fifteen minutes when Tom gets up. We get up four forty-five every morning, Monday through Friday. So yeah, a little tired sometimes. <laughs> uh, yeah, this this is gonna be taken care of this week. All right, y'all take care. And have a good day. If you haven't subscribed yet, I wish you would. If you do, you'll get notifications. A little bell will pop up somewhere. You'll get notifications if you click that of uh, the, the new vlogs that I put on. So y'all take care, and uh, we'll see you next time.